TB in cattle can be diagnosed by a variety of different tests. The tests used in live animals are the skin test, which you are all familiar with, as it's used on every farm in Ireland at least once a year. Then we have the gamma interferon blood test. Each of these tests have their own strong points and weaknesses. So each tool is used in a different way. So let's take a look at the TB skin test first. The TB skin test is very well established, has been examined many, many times and has been used in many successful national eradication schemes. On the day of the test, the vet records the identity of the animal and measures the thickness of the skin in two places on the animal's neck, which have been marked by the hair being clipped. Bovine tuberculin, which is a small amount of protein from the TB bacteria, is injected into the skin at one site, and avian tuberculin, made from proteins from a closely related bug, is injected into the other site. If the animal's immune system has been exposed to TB previously, the bovine tuberculin will cause a reaction. The avian tuberculin is used to differentiate between the immune system having been exposed to closely related bugs that are not TB. Three days later, the vet again records the identity of the animals and measures the skin thickness at the same sites on the neck and compares the readings with those taken on the first day. If there is a reaction to the bovine tuberculin, which is more than four millimeters greater than the reaction to the avian tuberculin, the animal is deemed a reactor. In certain situations where there is a higher TB risk, the interpretation of the differences in the swellings is more severe. One question we are often asked is how effective is the test in detecting TB? On average, if you had a pen full of 10 cattle, each that is known to have TB, the skin test will identify 8 out of those 10 animals. It is 80% sensitive. With further testing, it is then likely that all 10 will be identified and removed. The test has its limitations. It can't detect very recently infected animals, so about six weeks must have passed after infection before the test will work. Also, if an animal is very badly infected and the disease has progressed quite a bit, then that animal is known to be anergic. The immune system is compromised and the test becomes less likely to work. Most importantly, make sure that you have good facilities and plenty of help at the test to enable to allow the tester perform the test as best as possible. Poor testing will fail to correctly identify TB. So if I have a reactor, how likely is it that that animal is genuinely infected with TB? Repeated studies have shown that the chance of an uninfected animal reacting to the test is about 1 in 5,000. That's about the same odds as New York winning the All-Ireland Final. The gamma interferon test is a blood test and is also used to diagnose TB. So how effective is the gamma interferon test at detecting TB? If we take the same 10 TB infected cattle that we had in the pen, the gamma interferon test is likely to identify 9 out of 10 of these animals. So it is 90% sensitive. It will detect an infected animal earlier than the skin test at 14 to 21 days. So it's better at detecting new infections. A limitation of the gamma interferon test is that it's not as specific as the skin test. So remember the 1 in 5,000 chance of the skin test well, with the gamma interferon test, that's about 4 in 100. This is why the gamma interferon test isn't used as a general screening test. It is a very useful tool in detecting more and earlier infected animals in a herd where we already know that we have quite a bit of TB. These are the tests that we use to detect TB in Ireland. We use them in a targeted way the skin test to identify infected herds, and the gamma interferon test 
to reduce spread in those herds, identify all the infected animals earlier and return the herd to full trading status. Please do your bit for quality testing by maintaining your testing facilities well and helping to get a top quality test. Together we can eradicate bovine TB.